been moving in that direction. Thank you. Uh, Karin Zakarian um, is coming from uh, the NASDAQ exchange group, the largest exchange uh, group in the world, present in all continents. And I wonder if you could share with us um, your experience in uh, integration and cooperation in uh, the area of um, Stock exchanges, uh, NASDAQ, NASDAQ OMX group um, has uh, a lot uh, in terms of uh, uh, integration experiences, uh, both at the global, regional, uh, or national level. I've been following uh, very closely things that uh, you all were saying. And I think uh, you might uh, find interesting what we know about uh, uh, getting prepared for integration. You can't get this integration overnight. You need to work very hard to, to uh, work a lot uh, doing your homework and be very consistent. Uh, so what have we done? Uh, um, what we talk about uh, is um, this um, regional and uh, global uh, integration, but you should start uh, with uh, the uh, common uh, exchange and depository space. Uh, from the year 2000, we had four exchanges, uh, and uh, then uh, we uh, brought the number to one. And so uh, we have consistently uh, been covering uh, most of the Armenian uh, markets. Um, uh, as a result, um, we're hoping uh, that uh, this uh, uh, exchange would become the uh, single entry point uh, for all market participants where they could switch on their terminals and avail of all the available uh, uh, services. Uh, the same is true for the depository. We have the centralized depository system, and it's our plan to uh, make sure that uh, from next year on, uh, this uh, central depository will play the truly central role. It is a very interesting idea with uh, the um, uniform applications and all the market participants uh, will have the status of account managers. And this would allow us uh, uh, to make sure that depository services uh, are accessible and available throughout the country with the minimum investments. Um, uh, and uh, in that uh, sense, um, integration processes uh, and the e exchange uh, space is uh, something we everybody needs to uh, follow. Uh, another important thing is when you are successful in setting up uh, your single exchange and depository space uh, inside the country, and make it um, uh, absolutely efficient. Uh, these two infrastructure institutions should be working uh, as a single mechanism, as a single corporate body. And uh, after this uh, stock exchange has become the owner of the depositor, we have introduced vertically integrated management. And so we have seen the major growth in the efficiency, and this is reflected positively on the markets. We are talking here about uh, full automation of all uh, the entire chain of transactions. Uh, and um, in that sense, I think uh, this needs a lot of homework. A third component uh, that I might need to uh, mention uh, in line of what Mr. Shvalov said uh, is um, uh, creating a comfortable environment for international players. Uh, all local specifications uh, should only apply to local participants, but if you want to integrate uh, globally, um, terms and conditions should be comfortable, which means they should be customary for uh, international players having another uh, 
country added to their coverage ideally should mean uh, just uh, the growth of sco uh, growth of uh, scope. They don't want to spend uh, ages to get accustomed to new uh, realities, and uh, in that sense, um, even. If we believe uh, that it might be better to have some sort, some regulations or others, and we believe that our local regulations better, and better than uh, on the uh, international markets. But if you want to attract uh, foreign players, we need to offer them an uh, environment that is comfortable for them, and, in, and then uh, this country, such country, will be prepared. Uh, for full integration uh, to make it um, particularly uh, beneficial. And in that uh, uh, case, uh, a local market uh, evolves uh, into something that has global potential. Uh, in October this year, we will be staging a conference in Yerevan. Uh, and I'm sure we won't be able to cover all the uh, exciting uh, topics uh, today. Uh, so I uh, invite you to come uh, to Yerevan. We'll be discussing regulations, local markets, and we'll be talking about regulatory infrastructure because this infrastructure covers players, uh, traders, analysts. Uh, uh, but the uh, regulatory infrastructure is mostly about setting limits uh, to the possible integration uh, and uh, uh, you need to have a clear vision of that to proceed with integration. Uh, what are those uh, specific efforts uh, to be uh, undertaken in the CIS countries? Uh, proceeding from our expertise, the follow-up uh, step after the so-called uh, uh, chaotic uh, uh, nature of cooperation uh, between uh, uh, brokers from client. Uh, on the one hand, they has to order uh, certain uh, stocks, and uh, then they had to take an order from another uh, broker, and then that's how it works. The next um, level is how to um, just interact via the depository. So we may have some kind of a central depository and uh, a special um, uh, no, uh, no, no many various accounts are to be opened. The service goes uh, via the nationwide uh, uh, network of depositories and the citizens of a specific country via their infrastructure may get an access uh, to those uh, financial instruments which are being traded uh, in other countries. and. Uh, the follow-up stage uh, would be um, uh, the one uh, to deepen the integration of that uh, sort uh, within CIS countries. Uh, and probably we may speak about some components of the exchange integra integration. Thank you so much. Uh, 